Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to top 10 ruthless dictators. I know Hitler is gonna be there and Zedong is gonna be there, but I don't know who else is gonna be there. Yeah, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you see next, and subscribe for more content. Let's get into it. They exacted complete control, often by force. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most ruthless dictators. For this list, we've chosen some of the most notable and brutal dictators in history, and have ranked them based on the ruthlessness of their crimes. Number 10, Kim Jong-il. Like his father before him and his son after, the eccentric Kim Jong-il ruled North Korea strictly and with a strong personality cult. His was apparently one of the world's most repressive governments, with poverty-stricken residents isolated through restrictions to practically everything. Between the starvation, executions, and forced labor, some estimate the deaths attributable to this supreme leader in the millions, and that's without mentioning the nuclear program. Number Wait, is North Korea a kingdom? Because I thought... We I'm I'm going crazy because I thought the the dictatorship started this guy right now, but then they said this other guy, the number ten is his father. I didn't know that he went down from father to son. Number nine, Francisco Franco. Mm. Spain was ideologically divided when Franco attempted to overthrow the left wing government with support from Nazi Germany and fascist Italy. The oh. nationalists won the ensuing bloody civil war, and Franco assumed power. Murder and suppression of language, culture, and more kept El Codillo in office almost four decades. And while the regime eventually softened and a democratic turnaround surged after his death, the repercussions of Franco's actions reverberate today. Un estado totalitario armonizará en España el funcionamiento de todas las capacidades y energías del país. Number eight, Mao Zedong. How is Mao number eight? How on earth is Mao number eight? I just watched a video about Mao and Mao has done some of the worst things that has ever been done to, to humanity. Damn. This communist leader became a savior to many by founding the People's Republic of China and by leading his people through industrial and cultural revolutions and the great leap forward. Though China's transformation into a superpower is revered, critics suggest the cost of these initiatives in human lives ranged between 40 and 70 million due to famine, murders, and forced labor, cementing Chairman Mao's place as a polarizing figure. Number and the crazy part is that to this day, apparently you have Chinese people who love the sky, who don't know. I don't know if they they are not uh, taught what he did to their people or what, but it doesn't make any sense for me why they would love him after all he did to their people. Number seven, Benito Mussolini. Mm -hmm. Portrayed as the only man capable of unifying Italy and restoring order, Il Duce disassembled the democratic system, transformed the country into a one-party state, and seized power with his fascist party. Militia and secret police met political foes with aggressive force or executions, while Mussolini expanded the Italian empire by colonizing African countries. But it was his misguided partnership with Hitler that ultimately led to his spectacular downfall. Number six. Sid Wait, so Italy didn't like Hitler? I didn't know that. I thought they were friends. I don't know, like the Italian people didn't like Hitler. I didn't know after all that they have done to Africans and all of people. I mean, nobody really at the time considered Africans to be something. So, Saddam Hussein. Once called the world's most dangerous man, Saddam was one of the few dictators tried, convicted, and executed for his crimes. I don't accept this. This doesn't make any sense. There is no way that you can put Saddam after Mao Zedong. This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Even now you have Americans saying that the thing that they said Iraq had uh, uh, destruction, large destruction weapons is not even true. They just went to Iraq for the oil and things like that. So it doesn't make any sense why Saddam is number six and you have Mao Zedong in number eight. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know who made this video, but this doesn't make any sense. 
Though his unparalleled social programs were hailed, he executed dissidents, slaughtered the Kurdish population, and used oil and power as justification to invade neighboring countries. This triggered wars, unrest, and uprisings, and later, false allegations about weapons of mass destruction eventually led to yeah, his ruin. False. Number five, Muammar Gaddafi. Short oh, hell no. Not Gaddafi. Oh, hell no. Man, Gaddafi was the only African president who was going to do something for Africa. To this day, Africa, Africa mourns Gaddafi. That, no. Only after becoming Libya's ruler, Colonel Gaddafi exacted his Absolutely influence not. by making opposition to his regime illegal, among other measures. This mad dog of the Middle East has a, a goal of a world Man dog revolution, Muslim yeah. fundamentalist revolution. Suspected of crimes against humanity, the mad dog of the Middle East the established dog. extensive as surveillance of his people and became increasingly wealthy as the poverty level rose. Despite his indiscriminate murder of... How the hell do you have Gaddafi on number five and Mao Zedong on number eight? Rebels during the Arab Spring, discontented Libyans fought back and the brother leader was deposed and killed. Libyan no. people now have a great responsibility. Not Obama, please. Not Obama. Not Obama. Not Obama. I can't stand this man. <sighs> Libya to this day regrets what they have done to their own country. Building, to build an inclusive and tolerant and democratic Libya. That this guy killed more Muslims than any American president. He dropped every single day who was dropping bombs in the Middle East. This guy. Stands as the ultimate rebuke to Gaddafi's dictatorship. Number four, Pol Pot. Following his ascent, Pol Pot attempted to return Cambodia to its rural roots by forcing city residents to toil on collective farms. Though it held power four years, Pol Pot's communist Khmer Rouge party caused approximately two million deaths with politically motivated murders, torture, forced labor, disease, and food shortages, the victims of which were buried in the killing fields. He clung to nominal power until his 1998 death. Number three, Idi Amin. Military background and charisma served Amin well as he overthrew the Ugandan leader and became self-proclaimed president for life. His brutal eight-year reign was marked by economic breakdown, political authoritarianism, corruption, human rights violations, ethnic cleansings, mass murder, and rumors of cannibalism by the leader himself. By alienating his followers with unpredictable behavior, the butcher of Uganda ensured he ended his life alone after being ousted and exiled. The whole world are looking at General Amin and uh, Uganda as a whole. What will be the future of Uganda the people are looking at this. Number two, Joseph Stalin. After serving under Vladimir Lenin, this man of steel became Soviet dictator by discrediting and eliminating rivals. The communists' aggressive industrialization killed millions due to famine, murder, and gulag camps. But the Great Purge was the darkest period when citizens were deported, incarcerated, and randomly executed. Though he mm. helped defeat the Nazis in World War II, this paranoid man's influence was erased after his death with a period of de-Stalinization. How, I wonder if there are any Russians watching this video right now. How do you guys feel about Stalin? I need to, I need to do a whole video about Stalin because I think I mean, it is clear that he was a dictator, but I don't know how much or how trustful this video is because some of the rankings doesn't make any sense to me i don't know how how truthful they were in their, their their research or how biased this video is but how do you guys feel about uh stalin do you still love him or like is stalin in russia like mao zedong is in china number one adolf hitler of course as German Chancellor and leader of the Nazis and Third Reich, Hitler made his motives clear when he made the Nazis the only legal political party and used suppression, propaganda, and death to quash opponents. By annexing countries, triggering World War II... Yeah, I must stop this video here because some of the rankings didn't make any sense to me and I don't agree with some of the rankings, so I'm just gonna cut it here. I will have to do other videos doing some rankings and see how does... Or the channels do.